Hey guys, wanted to answer some common questions that we get over at Bell Capital from our people who are interested in investing with us in the fund and some of the deals that we're looking at. Um, this should be good for you guys for sure because this goes over a good bit. I'm going to answer as many of these as I can, but these are the most common ones. And if not, you could go to bell-capital.com. You can hit invest now or get started. And then that'll take you to the portal. You can go ahead and you can register your account, open up your investment account, and then you will get access to all the open deals and funds that we have. You can go through the paperwork, do your due diligence. You can read everything line by line if you want to. You can uh, take that and you can give it to your attorney or your accountant or CPA. And then that way you can get all of your questions answered. Again, we don't give legal advice or, or um, financial advice or nothing like that. You are supposed to do your own due diligence, but I can answer any questions that I have because this is what people tend to want to ask. And I definitely love asking questions. So if you have questions, make sure to either leave them in the uh, leave them in comments or reach directly out to us. Go to bell-capital.com. You can text us or call. You can call 808-778-1326 or you can text 808-778-1326 and you can go ahead and you can put on their questions and then one of us will give you a call back. Oh, on the site, you can also schedule a call. You can book a call with us. The calls are five minutes. We're there to help you. We're there to answer your questions. We want to get you going. So one of the main questions that we get is, am I accredited? <laughs> You know, for those who don't know what accredited is, basically the SEC established this guideline, which I personally think that, uh, man, it is, it, it, it's it's not fair. I mean, it's it's discriminatory big time that says that if you make, if you make less than $200,000 a year, then you cannot invest in certain opportunities that's offered. Right. And, and it's, it's totally made up, man. It really is. It's an arbitrary thing because I can tell you, I know people, matter of fact, um, one of the people on my team, Rashawn, she knows more about real estate, investing through working with me, talking all the time, talking to investors, looking at deals, underwriting deals with us, than most people who are interested in investing $5 million that I talk to with us. She knows more than them, but because she's not accredited, she's working on that, um, she can't invest, right? So I'm doing away with that because I'm going to be just, I'm going to be doing a non-accredited fund here soon, a reggae fund, but for now. The definition of a credit, are you accredited? Accredited just means you make 200,000 a year as an income, or if you're married, you make 300,000 a year, or you have a million dollar net worth, excluding your primary residence. You don't need both. If you have a million dollar net worth, you have uh, assets, you got businesses, you got stocks, um, and it equates to a million dollars of net worth, you can do it. And that's minus, it's not including your primary residence, which everybody thinks they're accredited or they have a million dollar net worth because they own their own home. But if you live in it, it's not an asset according to the SEC, does not make your credit. So 200,000, 300,000 if you're married or a $1 million net worth. That's if you're accredited. That's one of the questions we get quite a bit. So if you follow along the lines of that category, man, we love to have you to invest with us. And the fastest, easiest way to become accredited is to start investing, start multiplying the money instead of having it sit in the bank. So next, um, the next one. Can I invest through my IRA? Absolutely. Matter of fact, IRAs, they really ain't going to help you later. So if you're 30, 40 years old and you're stacking away money into your IRA and you're trying to get your, your whatever, however you're doing it, you're getting your employer to match it or your 401k, you're putting money into that. Your best bet is to take that money. We can help you do that. We, will, we have our trusted partners that we work with that preferred um, trust company that can help you convert your IRA at no cost, over to a self-directed IRA, and you can invest with us. You can turn that money, you can invest with us over at Bell Capital into some of our deals and let that money start multiplying. It'll go back to your IRA. You can't touch it until you're 60 or 65 or whatever, whatever, however your IRA and your 401k set up. But that money will multiply a lot faster. The cash flow goes straight to you. And that is how people can invest through the IRA or their 401k. Next, how long is the term on the funds? All of our term funds are structured anywhere from seven to 10 years. And I did that on purpose because I don't ever want to have to sell a good property at a bad time. If you take a look at what's going on in the market right now, you have a lot of people that need to sell their properties because they've got their funds or they're syndicated a deal and they said they were, they were going to sell in three to five years. Well, guess what? If you bought in 2020 and you're supposed to be getting out right now, the rates are triple what they were when you probably got that deal. So you're not going to get out. Those people have to sell. 
They can't refinance. They have to sell and they're going to have to take a loss. And we aren't going to do that to our investors. I'd rather keep that property for seven to 10 years. And if we are going to exit early, great, do that. But I don't want to be forced to sell. And also, by the way, guys, I set this up to where if I needed to hold on a little longer, I can extend the fund out. But it's only going to be, I'm always going to do the right thing for my investors. My goal is to make us a lot of money. And I won't do that. If one of I have to sell early or sell at a bad time, and if I can wait and I can be like, hey, guys, it's not the time. Hold on. We're making money. We're not going to lose our deals because the goal is not to lose a good deal. But it's seven to 10 years. Super valuable uh, for you guys wondering. Seven to 10 years is a long time. It's not. I've been married for 22 years. Feels like yesterday. I'm sure you probably do think everything I do is long term. This is not flipping a house. This is investing in institutional quality very nice, very great location, quality multifamily assets. That's long-term cash flowing, and it has been. Next, what tax do documents could you expect? Well, if you're an investor in our fund, we're going to pass tax benefits on to you, so you will get a K-1. That's how that's structured. So you're going to get your K-1 every year. We're going to do the taxes. We're going to push out partnership K-1s out to you guys, so that way you guys can get the tax benefits of being a, being a partner and owner in the real estate. That's how our deals are set up. Unlike in some other investments where you're investing, like say in a REIT or something like that, you aren't getting those tax benefits that way. Um, you're getting taxed when you get those, when you get your your their dividends, not distributions. So next, um, what are the expected returns? We like to target a 15% internal rate of return on all of our deals. That's over. That's given over the seven to ten years um, of our holding period. And then later when we when we sell, we expect to double or triple what we had in the deal, the, the 2X or 3X equity multiple. That's our expected returns. Now, here's the deal. And I think I have it up here next. And I go through that because usually people ask me about our targeted expected returns. And what are the risks? <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, all investments involve risk. That's just a general thing that you should know. But the other side also happens as well. If you don't invest, that's also a risk. You risk opportunity to grow your money. You risk the opportunity of your money getting eaten away. I've been talking about it quite a bit. In my lifetime, the value of the dollar has went down 86%. And just from 2020, the value of the dollars went down 20%, right? Because they continue to print money. So there is risk involved in all investments. You could lose some and or all of your principal amount. Um, we cannot hit our targets, but we can still double the the equity that we had. And let's say we don't make as much cash flow as we thought, but we turn around and I get an opportunity to sell an asset that we invested in and we triple the equity that we had. in. so, yeah, we don't get a lot of cash. Flow. Let, let's say on that example, let's say we didn't hit our cash flow targets, but you got tripled your money tripled. That's what we're looking at. We're always looking, but there's always going to be a risk. I have to always disclose that to people. One, because that's a legal disclosure, right? Which is why I said, go online, register your account at bell-capital.com, hit get, click get started um, or invest now, get access, register your account and go through the paperwork you can see because all the risks are laid out there for you. But that doesn't mean to not do it. Risk doesn't mean not invest. Risk just means, hey, there's a risk here. You're a big boy, you're a big girl. We're looking to make money in some of these assets. And my goal is not to get an asset that's going to inflict a ton of risk on us. That's the whole part, right? If you got great cash flow and you can keep it, it minimizes the risk. Next, what are your fees? So for Bell Capital, we charge a 1% fee, 1% management fee, and a 1% disposition fee. It's in the prospectus. Oh, we also charge 1% acquisition fee. Basically, we charge 1% when we buy the purchase price, right? takes care of my team, takes care of my people, uh, overhead, the cost to start the fund, the cost to start this vehicle. So that way you guys get the opportunity to invest with us. We manage the problem. We manage the asset for 1% a year, 1% a year for the lifetime that we have it. That's it. That's not a lot of money. Trust me, guys. It takes a lot of, a lot of money to run a fund. Next. Then when we sell, we charge 1% disposition fee. We help offload and or sell or sell that asset to somebody else. And that way they take that property over. That's how we recapitalize the investors. If I haven't already refinanced the property first, but that's our fees. We charge 1%. Now, in comparison, typically, like you look at some of these bigger fund managers, these bigger equity funds, they charge 2% management fee. So if they raise a $50 million or a $100 million fund, they charge two, they get $2 million a year for, for managing that. We don't charge that. We charge 1% to our investors. That's it. Um, 
Next, can you invest in other accounts? Meaning, like, can you invest through your IRC? Let's say, let's say you have um, IRC. Let's say you have a LLC, or let's say you have a trust that you have a, a revocable trust or an irrevocable trust that is you and your family, and you want to invest, let's say, five million dollars, and you say, "Hey, Vic, we have five million dollars of cash in our in our trust account. Can we invest that?" Yes, you can. You can invest through your trust. All you have to do is do your paperwork. There's a box in there that says what you're investing in, whether it's an LLC, which you don't have to even set up an LLC. You can invest. That's what that's what we did. We set up the fund so you didn't have to go set up a, a separate structure to invest with us. You're already protected because of the way that you can invest. But if that's how you're holding your money, an LLC, a trust, an IRA, 401k, a SEP, a Kigo, whatever, however it is that you're doing that, you can do that. Um, whether it's a C Corp, S Corp, however you want to invest it, yes, you can invest through other accounts. What happens if Victor dies? <laughs> I do get this one a lot. If I die, the property will go on operating. This is a professional uh, operation, right? There's a professional management company that's going to be managed. We're going to have a professional team managing the fund and the asset management and the portfolio management, as well as staying connected with all the investors, doing investor relations calls, um, supporting you guys for the investor portals that are there, as well as, uh, let's see, any tax, the tax um, documentation that has to get out. All of that stuff is handled by a team of professionals a lot smarter than me that make sure that they get all this information out to you. So if I die, that will continue on going out to whoever it is that you want that money going to. Now, bigger question always is to find out if you die, where you want to continue to get these checks. We have one of my investors asked that already and we already got that set up. She let me know like, hey, if I die, this is who I want this going to. So make sure to kind of have this still happen. And she got us over the paperwork to be able to keep facilitating that. So that answers that question. If I die, you'll keep getting a check because professionals are still running this with in, with in place actions to keep going. All right, that's what those documentations are about. Um, next and last, <laughs> can I invest from if I live in another country? Yes, you can. Um, I talk to people all the time from Canada, from the from Europe, from the UK, where else? Um, Philippines, Thailand. So if you're not in, a, in a, Puerto, yeah, Puerto Rico is still a part of the U.S. But like in Mexico. So if you're not in the U.S., yes, you can still invest with us. You just have to do your paperwork. You got to be accredited. Make sure you're not a terrorist or a criminal or, you know, you've committed some war crime someplace or you're like you can still invest with us. That's not a problem. The documentation and the paperwork expresses, hey, it asks you questions. Hey, are you a U.S. citizen? Are you not a U.S. citizen? Where is this money coming from? Um, it's probably going to be wired. As long as that money gets in, you do your paperwork correctly and we countersign your paperwork. Everything should be okay. So you can invest through other countries. Um, yeah, that usually covers everything. The main common questions that people ask when they're thinking about investing with us over here at Bell Capital. And realistically, guys, like I said, um, it's pretty simple. Re yo, go online, register your account, go to bell-capital.com, register your account. You can sign up for a free account, cost you nothing to register, but you get the opportunity to see the open fund right now. Um, what the minimum investment is, it's a hundred thousand minimum right now. It's an accredited only fund, meaning you have to be accredited. Like we talked about, you make 200,000 a year, or you make, you have a million dollar net worth, excluding your primary residence. Um, you can look at all the paperwork, go through everything. If you have questions, make sure to reach out to me or someone on my team. I'm actually here to help you. I, I, we don't have any illusions that you're going to click a button and invest a hundred thousand, 200,000, a million dollars. The higher up the amount of investment, the more people want to have a conversation with someone to make sure there's some clarity, answer, handle any questions you got, all of those things. All right. We're here for that. I'm building this out so you guys continue to have this support because a lot, I mean, everyone has choices, right? I didn't have to do that. I could just say, hey, go online, click a button and make the investment and I go on and buy deals. But I want to talk to you guys. I want to be here long term. And uh, we're building an organization designed to help you get invested, and to help change your life so you can create wealth for you and your family through investing in real estate with us. My goal is to become one of the largest apartment building owners in the world with our company. I can't do that alone, and I'm going to do it with great everyday retail investors like you guys. Um, and that's what I want to do with us. I want to do that for us, and I want to do it uh, together. All right, so I hope these common questions and answers actually help you guys. Um, it's on our site as well. But I wanted to kind of share this information and talk through this. So if you guys have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'm here for you. 
I will answer your comments or somebody on my team will answer them and we will make sure to connect with you and make sure we get everything squared away. So you guys have a great day today. Enjoy your Saturday. We're going to get out and go look at some property and uh, you have a good one.